are you? Good, how are you? Good. So, what do you want to know? Everything. Yeah. Just everything. Well, I can't tell you everything. <laughs> I'd be fired. I already find, I always like want to say things so I find myself catching myself like, oh, oh okay, tell me that. And where your character comes from and how she's tied into the DC universe, does yes. that ever change the way that you approach a part? Maybe you play it, you deliver the line a little bit more sinister or play with it in some ways? Not re I mean, not right now. I mean, certainly there, it's been planted in my head that we're going to head toward Killer Frost at some point, and obviously I've discussed it with Andrew and Craig and how they want that to go. So I have an idea of it, but I try to be you know, pretty truthful and take her on this journey and so hopefully you'll understand when she gets to that point how she got there. Well, potentially giving you a little opportunity to go back in a few weeks there's a meta human that takes several characters for him, including Caitlin. How was that for you to act? Uh, it was great. It was really fun. It was so exciting. It meant I got to work with the stun skies a lot more, which was really fun. I didn't realize that that was out there. Um, so it, it was great. It's so cool. It was really fun. And, you know, I can take the form of some other characters, and it's a nice acting exercise, too. Yeah. Um, Caitlin is someone who has unwavering faith in the people she cares about, so what do you think her reaction will be like when she finds out the truth about Wells and his intentions? I think it's going to be a huge struggle for her. Like you said, she is an incredibly loyal person, and it, you know you have to imagine that she came back to work with Dr. Wells after the particle accelerator exploded, and what that took, like how much faith she had to come had to have in him to come back after that so you know he's on the highest pedestal possible to her and anything to suggest you know it would be devastating to have that reality crumble in front of her she's not going to want to hear it for sure drunk caitlin has been one of my <laughs> most favorite moments in, in the series for her. are we going to get to see more of her kind of cutting loose and and kind of having fun like that? Um, you know, as the season progresses, things get scarier and more and more yeah. serious, especially as we're unraveling more about Harrison. So I don't know that there's a huge opportunity for that this season, but obviously I would love to see more of it. Too. Was that fun for you to kind of really fun. change it, was it up? really great. Grant and I had such a fun time that night. Like, just, it was really, really fun. It went by too quickly. Yeah. Well, we're going to get a little bit of a glimpse into the time when Barry was in the coma and what all the characters' yes. lives were like. What can you say about how bad Caitlin is, considering how recent the loss of Ronnie was at that point? I mean, it was fun as an actor to go back to that person, to look at who she was, you know, particularly in her first episode, and imagine, how, you know, how much more buttoned up and cold she would, and reserved she would have been uh, subsequent to that. So um, it's, it, it was great. It was really fun. It's nice. I mean, I feel very lucky. We get the opportunity to play so many different things on this show. And it'll be fun moving forward just to see how that changes. You know, clearly, they're not afraid to play with time travel and to shake everything up when they do it. So it'll be fun to see more of that in the future, hopefully. Are you looking forward to the possibility of being Killer Frost and kind of being a bad, a bad girl, at least for one episode? I'm really excited about the potential of Killer Frost. I mean, I have ideas all the time. Um, I think I drive me crazy with them. What about this? What about this? Uh, so it's really fun. It's really exciting for me. Ultimately, that means you know a lot of uh, Barry's support structure is going to be kind of fractured at some point in the future. I mean, he's had kind of like this, uh, kind of like a rallying group behind him. But now, I mean, if we can kind of foresee where it's headed. You know, there's obviously at some point things are going to crumble on your agent. Yeah, I think that's probably a couple seasons down the road, but for sure, you know, it's interesting. The reality is, though, that the group is also getting larger. You know, as more and more people find out that he's the Flash, they impact and influence and help him in various ways. So, in that sense, his group is getting a little bit bigger. Um, you know, looks like we might lose Harrison Wells in that group, but maybe not. I don't know. So I think it'll just change and evolve. The same way relationships in real life do, too. With Felicity and Ray coming to town, what is her reaction to that? And what kind of shenanigans is she getting up to with them? Um, it's really exciting. I mean, especially for me, it's great when Emily comes over. It's really fun. Uh, I wish we had gotten more time together, quite frankly, in 18. But it's always exciting to see her. And... Um, you know, 
she plays a very pivotal role. I mean, she's obviously been in Mary's life for a long time, as we've seen, and she, you know, gives him some good advice, which is great. Um, so it's fun. I think she's uh, interested in the Adam. Uh, it's cool. It's really cool to see. Um, it's been a while since we saw Ronnie, but he and Caitlin seem to be in a good place. But what can you tease about what might be the man for them, or if he'll be the Adam? Um, it's it. Ronnie is going to come back, and he's going to come back at a very, uh, at a very tough time when heightened, when everyone's emotions are heightened. So um, it's going to be interesting to see what happens. When he's back to City. There's almost like a brother-sister relationship between Cisco and Caitlin. Absolutely. And then when Bradley was introduced, it was almost like the bratty other brother. Yes. Are you hopeful to see the sort of family dynamic developed a little bit further between these three characters in the future? Absolutely. I love it. And I, you know, I love seeing a little bit more of the history and so you understand, you know, I love Cisco's line, she seems nice, you don't, that kind of thing. <laughs> like, it's it's great to see that history between them and I I love working with Carlos. There was a scene the other day where he, I couldn't keep a straight face. Like, he's great. I would love to see more of that. Your, your character is pretty much of a genius on the show. Did you pattern your character upon anybody in real life, practicing literature, or did you get any inspiration from anybody? Uh, no one in particular that comes to mind. You know, I was just really excited. I mean, it's so great to get to play a very strong female character who is intelligent and successful in her own right. And, you know, she, it's just Caitlin in Star Labs, generally. So she stands up to these boys and she's not afraid to take anything from them. With all the, like, the family of, of shows that are, you know, the sports talks of us, another spinoff, you know, have, have they talked to you in terms of how you fit in with all these other shows. I'm really nosy, so I ask questions. I don't wait for them to tell me things. Uh, and I'm, I'm really curious about it and really excited. You know, it's such a luxury that we shoot in Vancouver and we can do these crossovers and, you know, I don't get lost driving to the stages because it's the same stages. Uh, so that's great. And it would be really exciting, you know, with the potential of the third show. It would be fun. And truth be told, you know, a lot of those characters for the potential spinoff are familiar faces, and I love working with Wentworth and Brandon. It was such a treat to meet him. So I would love to see more of that, and hopefully there will be. Earlier this season, when Hyde Piper was introduced, that's the very first time we've seen a opening gay character on a superhero series, and your character was the first one to actually mention that part about his character and say, he came out, old fashioned family, old values. Yeah. How does it feel to be a part of history in that particular I'm so proud of our show. I love that they, you know, our writers are fearless, and I love that, and I think it's so important, and it's, you know, it's real. We have other characters, Captain Singh, uh, who also, uh, you know, he goes away on his honeymoon at some point in the show, and it's great to see that. And it's, I love the diversity that they bring across the board in the show. Of the upcoming episodes, uh, which one is your favorite, and what's like a one sentence tease you could give about it? Um, I'm really excited for 19, episode 19. Uh, and that's the shapeshifter episode, and it's really fun to see what happens when people aren't who they look like. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.